Hey guys, welcome back to our series on surplus reports and today we're talking about URL rewrites. So basically, what is a URL rewrite first of all? So basically a URL rewrite is something that happens on the server side, so it would be your server. So for example, we host with WPX and we're using their servers and it's the, 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 it's the gap between uh, user loading or um, requesting a new URL and then that URL loading and a URL rewrite happens when the ultimately URL being rewritten is some, we don't know whether it's coming from a new user or, or, or an old user, okay? So um, then there's a URL rewriting process in the middle. Um, a good example of it that's simple might be the HTTP to HTTPS version that um, that URL is rewritten every time because we're moving from HTTP to HTTPS and arguably that's also a redirect but um, it's about the um, server security license that, that we've implemented which means the URL then gets rewritten it's in effect the same website but the URL is rewritten so um, let me give you um, another explanation of it here uh, a rewrite engine is a software component that performs rewriting on uniform resource locators which is the URL ultimately modifying their appearance it's a way to implement URL mapping um, and it's a component of a web server or, or web frame application. Um, rewritten URLs, sometimes known as short, pretty, or fancy URLs. Um, a good example it would, would, would are used for our shorter or more relevant looking links to web pages. So um, a good example probably would be um, bit.ly links. I think that bit.ly links would be an example of a URL rewrite, so you don't want any of them live on your on your website. Now, I think that we do need to, of course, uh, where is it? I think I brought something up about the difference between uh, a URL URL rewrite versus a URL rewrite versus redirect. The two most common actions are rewrite and a redirect. A redirect is a client side request to have the browser go to another URL. This means the URL you see in the browser will update to the new new URL and the rewrite is a server-side rewrite. So the HTTP to HTTPS, that's a server-side, and Bitly would be a redirect because that's client-side, of course, actually. So that's probably um, the, way, the way to think about it. And as we see here, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because I know that it does have impact upon SEO, but there are people in the team more technical than I, um, and I thought I'd jo join you on this journey that um, ultimately uh, a URL rewrite, let's just see um, what it says here. Rewriting should be more efficient than redirects because the client makes a single trip to the server and all redirection is handled on the server. Um, so the client never sees the rewritten URL, which is good. With a redirect, um, the client does see it. Um, although rewriting can slow down your site if it gets too complex. Uh, so it's worth looking at, you know, your the, the monitoring times. So it's not something that's um, mission critical, I think, but um, all the URLs on, you know, Pearl Lemon are doing what they're meant to do, so there's no rewriting happening. So I hope that gives you some insights into the URL rewrite, and uh, in some cases, you know, it can throw, a, throw an error. So um, that's URL rewrites. Catch you in the next one.